Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with a cubic function question and this one was sent in by Lumkile. Right, so they've said to us the following diagram represents the curve y equals minus x cubed plus px squared plus q. They've also said to us that L is an x-intercept and they've also said to us that M and N are turning points, which you can clearly see. As expected, they've asked us to solve or show the values of P and Q, which is in that formula over there. Right. Now, when I first looked at this question, I noticed that we had an X coordinate there and I noticed we had been given the other X intercept. And what's very special about this type of cubic function is that there's a turning point on the X intercept. So the way I initially approached this question was I said F of X equals a a <laughs> a x minus x1 times x minus x2 times x minus x3 all right so i did that and then because i noticed that there was a turning point on the x axis i knew that one of these brackets could be squared and then i went in and i substituted in my two and i left the other x to try and solve and then i realized I didn't have another point to subs in. So that method didn't work. And the reason I'm telling you this is it's okay to try something that doesn't work in the exam, right? As long as you're able to keep working on it until you do find a method that works. Another very important piece of information that they include in this is that we have these turning points. We've got M over there and we've got N over there. And what's very useful about N is they've given us the X coordinate. So we know that at one of those points, okay, one of the X points at the turning points is going to be an X equals two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the derivative of, I'm going to call this graph F of X. So let's, let's call this graph F of X and it equals minus X cubed plus P X squared plus Q. Now in order to find turning points, we need to let the derivative equal zero. The reason for that is the derivative is the gradient. And we can see at both of these turning points, the gradient of the tangent at that point is zero. So let's find the derivative first. So we're going to say f dash of x is equal to minus 3x squared plus 2px and the q falls away. Now this is looking really positive because I've already been able to eliminate one of the unknown variables and I've left with only one unknown variable and once I substitute in I'm probably going to be able to solve for p immediately which is very useful. Now we've already said that the turning point is at the point where f dash of x is zero because the gradient is zero so we can put that zero in and it's 3x squared plus 2px. Right now what I need to do is I need to get rid of this X because we want to be left with one variable to solve for. And remember what I said a little earlier, we've got these two turning points and they've given us the coordinates of one of them. So I can put in the two into the X because I know that is going to be one of our turning points. So what that would be is it would be minus three. That'll be two squared plus two P times two. Right, let's solve that out. It's going to be minus 3 times 4, which is going to be minus 12. And then that's going to be 4p. To solve for the p, what am I going to do? I'm going to take the minus 12 across and that's, I'm going to just finish it up here. I'm going to take the minus 12 across and that's going to be 12 and that equals 4p. I divide both sides by 4 and that's going to give me 3 equals p. And that's exactly what they wanted from P. Right, now we need to solve for Q. And what's very useful here is because we found P, we can just put P straight into the original equation that they've given us there. And we can then subs in that point to find Q. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space now, just for this final question. Bear with me as I erase. <clears throat> okay. Right, so what I said is we're going to have y is equal to minus x cubed plus we've got p which is 3x squared plus q. 
don't know why the it's been a bit dodgy today. Apologies. Right. <clears throat> so now we move on to substituting in a point. So we've been given one point over there. So before I write the next line, I'm going to say subs the point n to zero. So we know the zero goes where the y is, and then we know the two goes where the x is. Plus q. Right, and then we're going to have minus 8. That's going to be plus 12. So 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus q. If I look at the minus 8 plus 12, that's going to give me 4. But in order to solve for this q, I need to move, to, move it to the other side. So I need to move the positive 4 to the other side. And that's going to give me minus 4 equals q. And again, that is the exact answer that they are looking for. And we get the full five marks for this question. A really special thank you to our sponsors for making this video possible. Be sure to read all about them in the description below. Also, head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, remember you can send it to us and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.